I'm sorry, sir, but unfortunately, head office have chosen to reject your application at this time. But if you go on, hang on. Do you know who I am? You ask incredulously. I'm sorry, sir, but it's not my decision to make. I'm just passing on what head office. I'm the son of the devil, for Christ's sake. How am I rejected? You reply, fire beginning to lap at the walls of the cramped office room. Sir, I'm sorry, but it's a, it's a standardized process. I can get you the email for admissions if you'd like to escalate this further, but... Uh. You know what? We didn't need that. We didn't need the unholy cabal anyway. No, we didn't need that shit. We, we're fine playing as Asmodeus. I wasn't... I didn't even want it. We're not interested. So yesterday, you might all remember I spent probably the entire episode setting it up so that Asmodeus could abdicate, allowing Bert to take control of the throne, and then Asmodeus would go on to rule the Unholy Cabal. However, we found out quite decisively that when, uh, that through all that setting up, through all the changing of, you know, laws and making sure no vassals were fighting, sending out gifts, whatever, all that boring crap that I got up to basically resulted in nothing because Asmodeus couldn't hold the religious head title anyway, so he just ended up retiring off the coast of Oman, which was not exactly the the, the thing I had in mind for the son of Satan, the, the, the end times bringer, the apocalypse, whatever you want to call him. So unfortunately, Bert took a tragic slip down the stairs and is dead, meaning that Asmodeus has re-inherited the empire. Not, I definitely did not do this because we, we left Bert in charge. You might remember yesterday we ended it, or didn't. You know what, I'm not going to pretend. We, we we created the title yesterday as, but we recreated the Unholy Cabal. I saved the game, I left it there, I thought we'll come back to it, we'll tidy it tomorrow. Couldn't load into that save game because Bert was then a theocracy, which meant we could no longer play as him. So as the second I loaded into the save game, the game gave us a game over, which was, ooh, just the cherry on the cake. So I'm not saying anything I've added to the game today is, is built on spite or anger or anything of the sort. No, 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 sir. Bert is dead. Like I said, Bert took a tragic slip to, to, to the grave. And now we've inherited all of his shit, including the entire empire. So here we are, your man, Asmodeus the Griffin. Welcome back, everybody, to... Hang on. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody, to Crusader Kings 2. We are going to bring about the end times. However, I'm not going down... We're not going to let it end like that. Oh, no, no, no. There is, there is yet another demon. You thought that, that, that Amon, the eighth demon, or whatever the hell he was called, was the was the final demon, but no, there is another, there is a final demon, greater than Ammon, stronger than Abaddon, more mighty than Beelzebub, and all the others, which I'm sure have something relevant as well, another demon, my friends, we will be summoning him right now, we had proud happen to us, by the way, angry, we had angry happen to us, you have a new heir, Princess Damian of who? My daughter in your, what? She's our dynasty, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it wouldn't be a game over if we ended up playing us then. How is our daughter-in-law? So she's just really, really distant kin to the extent she's our... She's not our daughter, is she? No, she's not. Oh, she's the branch house, the really distant branch house that, like, span off before Minotaur took control. Weird. Anyway, not relevant. Thank you. We, of course, have summoned... We haven't got Abaddon right now, but we'll resummon Abaddon later because we've only got one person in our prison and we need one person for this great event, what we're about to fire. So I'll turn it forward to the stop plots. So we get another prisoner. We've got... We have summoned Abaddon. We have summoned Beelzebub, Leviathan, Adremelech, Mammon, Belphegor, Asmodeus. But there is another demon. He goes by many names, but this is the closest translation I could get in modern English that was pronounceable by my own tongue uh, without having to make many sacrifices of my own. Keith. Some call him Keith. Others know him as mate, friend, pal, buddy, but it's Keith. We're going to summon Keith. Goodbye. Who's in our prison? Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Agthonikos, you, my friend, are going to greater places, to a greater realm, with a greater being. Our air is now... C c you know what? Should we deal with this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. Bear with me a second, Keith. Um, who should we name as our air, then? Who who do we train up? Fake Bert. All this time, we've come full circle back to fake Bert. Unbelievable. Fine. Fake Bert it is. You have a new air. You and our players not for long. They, they, will, they will vote fake Bert, or they will die, because we have a new power now, my friend. The invocation of Keith begins with the distribution of pork scratchings. Your subjects follow your crunching, awaiting the majesty of Keith's presence, and eventually a thirst grows from the robed witches of your cabal. You ask Steve to get in this round because you've left your wallet and you're going out, coat. Steve sighs, but before long, lagers are poured, and the ritual can continue. Not long after, a monumental being, timeless in its splendor, emerges from the void and intertwines with your spirit. I am become Keith, harasser of bouncers. We gain the trait, Keith, and Agthonikos dies. So long, Agnonoth, Ag, Agnonothos, Ag, whatever your name was. We are now Keith. Look upon us now in despair. His character is the embodiment of Keith, bringer of the end times. Some say he once bottled a man for looking at his bird without spilling a drop of lager and throwing the glass in his other hand. 
Personal combat skill. Plus 666. That's right. You are not misreading things. This is the new... Added in the new CK2 expansion. Drunks and dipshits. <laughs> oh, God. It's late at night. Can you tell? We're ready. We're ready for the world. It doesn't really give us much else other than that. I'll be honest. I'd prefer the other trait I added yesterday, but don't worry about it. The eighth demon. Ninth demon, technically. Seven sins plus Ammon plus Keith. Ninth demon. And nine inverted is six. Six times three is 12. Divide that by four and put three of them together. 606. No, that's 333. I didn't think it through. Don't worry about it. Okay, now we can really begin the game. We can finally bring about these bloody end times that I've been... So, denounced. I fixed these events as well. Because, of course, what, another thing that might have cheesed my what's it's yesterday. Oh, we're still in Lucifer's home because, of course, we're Black Hand as well. So, I was going to say we couldn't join the Satanic Society. So, we actually couldn't win the game because... I made that integral to, you know, destroying the world as part of Lucifer's Zone. I, funnily enough, thought you might need to be part of Lucifer's Zone to do that. And apparently Satanists don't count as devil worshippers. So we learned that yesterday. Anyway, uh, we can now do that without Nina. All we need is the, the province of Alexandria. At long last, that province that has eluded us for so long. We can finally get that one. And then denounce Judaism. What do we mean for that? Hamadan. Oh, my God. How appropriate would it be if Alexandria, the capital that we've had for many hundreds of years, at least a dozen, would be our final goal for this entire campaign. Also, what about Hamadam, though? Are we, like, one province away, one duchy away? We're definitely one duchy away. My god, my vassals have been expanding like wildfire. We've got almost all of the Arabian Peninsula. What does that say? Bord Borguginia. What, what is this? I've never heard of that before. Borguginia. Is that, like, their French name for Ethiopia? I don't know. We're not, we're not going to worry about it. Okay, so why don't we holy war, then? Where, where are my men? Send me, send me my men. Bring them over here. We're going to holy war for this one. Get that one gone. Orthodox GTFO. Then the fight. No, no, no. Jer Jer Jerusalem. It no. I, 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 what's the word? Judaism. That's it. Don't ignore me. The GTFO. Don't listen to that bit, YouTube. If you if you care about that. Then after that, don't bother about shed form. Apparently, it doesn't fucking work anyway. No point me on it. Shed form, as in like he's gonna go into the shed for a bit. Um. So so we'll we'll do that one. Then the final one is Orthodox, which is Alexandria, and then. The spiciness. We can finally... Oh, I, I rebuilt the retinues, by the way, into mostly light infantry and mostly cavalry. It's like 18,000 light infantry followed by cataphracts. I thought it'd be pretty funny. Um, oh, we also need to summon um, uh, Abaddon again, don't we? Was it Abaddon we're missing? Hang on. Adremalek, Asmodeus, Mammon, Belphegor, Ammon, Beelzebub, Leviathan. We are missing uh, that one I just said. Okay, we'll do that in a second. We need someone to imprison, so that's why I've turned off all the stop plots. Uh, ah! Your mind is withered and eroded. What do we have? What's wrong with us? We're stressed. Your mind is withered and eroded. A disembodied voice comes from within your mind. Come on, mate. Cheer up, yeah? Such is the wisdom of Keith. We lose stress, depressed, and lunatic. Thank you, Keith. Ah, oh, there is another. I didn't even realize. Your human form has suffered ailments and damage. A disembodied voice comes from echoes in your mind. You need a good greasy kebab, mate. That'll sort you. Didn't proofread these. Don't worry about it. It's the guidance of Keith. He just speaks with an accent. That's why that's spelled wrong. Such is the guidance of Keith. We lost our disfigurement. Our mental fortitude, our, our, our physical disfigurements have all been lost. We are now pure and mighty. And that is the true power of Keith. He does not need all these flashy plus 20 fucking whatever, plus 10 diplomacy. You don't need plus 15 to all stats. You just got a good mate. And that's all you need in life sometimes. Thank you. Oh, they're actually referring to us as Lightbringer. As in, like, Lucifer himself. Uh, sorry to get back on track with things. Uh, yeah, that was another name for Lucifer, obviously. Luc Lucifer was the Lightbringer. Um, that seems kind of appropriate. That, you know, we're going about the entire... I don't know why we're called that, because... Is that just what you're called? If you're maybe in charge of the... In charge of Lucifer Zone? I can't say I've ever noticed, but maybe it's one of the traits that gives us that. It's got to be Keith, isn't it? It's got to be Keith. It's called Lightbringer, because he's an electrician. Sorry, I saw, thought of that joke after the fact. Okay. Um, what are we looking at here? What are we looking at? Peasant Revolt for Nizwa. And then we've also got Luciferian Sunny Revolt as well. Sorry, I just skipped over the glorious Chinese music that seems to be the only bloody thing in the soundtrack anymore. So where are our other retinues? Or did I turn them all into horses? Which is not something I'd ever do. I've never once built a horse anywhere inappropriate. Um, so that's our main force. Where's it? Oh, they're all in fucking Kent. Oh, well, that's okay. As long as we got bloody Beckley Heath on lockdown, then why the hell do we... God damn it. Okay. Um, <laughs> give, me, give me them boats, boy. We need to go pick up these troops. So we can... We'll leave those guys at home as a, as a home defense force. And th those we can take out any of the other rebellions that we've got going on here. Because I don't think we could bring about the end times, ironically, while we're at war. Because, God forbid, you would ever want to do that. Oh, can we build our final little fortress here as well, out of interest? Um, Imperial Palace. 
Uh, castle infrastructure, level is equal to or greater than 8. Okay, castle infrastructure, level 8. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. On the first, the public are permitted to the first two floors. Uh, or whatever it is. Sorry, I don't remember. I haven't played it in a long time. Okay, Imperial Palace gives technology spread rate plus 10%. Seems a bit irrelevant right now. Uh, the year, by the way, 1, 2, 3, 4. Extremely cursed. Um... Sure. Fortified Imperial Palace combines the advantages of the Imperial Palace, but adds another one. Security. Ooh, very snazzy. Did we also get a gigantic hourglass? Okay, uh, let's go pick up our, our attack force and our home defense force from Kent. And then we'll bring those guys back home. And then everything's fine. Um, where are my... Oh, there they are. Right, sorry. Okay, and then we'll go launch this Holy War as well. Everyone will be happy. We don't need any more power. We've got... Okay, fine. Uh, my sister and darkness... What? Surely this can only fail then? Or will it just give us dark power? Oh, we can also kill our rivals. Uh, Alexios Papia, our son. Or Tiberius Papia, our son. Um, we'll just go for the... We're going to speak to Satan himself and ask for 100 dark power. Actually, to be fair, we've got less than... I thought we'd have loads. Oh, we did all that dark corruption last episode, didn't we? Fair enough. Give me that 100 dark power, boy. Um, so we've also got another... Shit, we've also got another cultural advance, is that? No? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, right, another economy advance because we filled up all the others. Ah, okay. Um, city construction gives a city guard university militia training ground. Seems a bit like that. Trade practices. We get a tiny little bit more dollar do. Fine. We'll do we'll do military organization. Hang on. Why can we all, we could upgrade? Oh, because the points needed to upgrade are much less than the points needed to upgrade those. Makes a lot of sense. Um, I have played this game before, I promise. All right, Viviana, Despot of Syria, welcome. We've got some titles we can make as well. I'm not going to worry about those for the time being. We'll, we'll focus on the actual important things. I see the game tried to corrupt us. By giving a stutter, but no, Keith. Keith, with his greasy kebab, fixed us. Greasy as in, like, because we're from Greece, obviously. That's why I spelled it like that, and I'm definitely not. Oh, fuck off. Ramadan the Suharian revolt has declared the peasant revolt for Suhar on Black Candace Modis the Griffin. Great. Well, that's four, three revolts simultaneously. I thought we'd done a load of... Why are they peasant revolting so much? 131,000 prestige? What? 192 per month? Oh, Keith gives plus five, but so does Beelzebub. Uh, so, you know, that just seems fair. What the hell? Train fights it. I suppose we have been alive for a long time. These demons are very overpowered, aren't they? I love it. I will point out, a lot of the things that are broken with the Satanism Plus mod are just a consequence of having such a dense mod pack. The mod by itself, in a vacuum, is very well made and works perfectly. With everything else that's going on, it's very broken. Uh, like the decision to summon the demons, you're only supposed to be able to summon one demon at a time, which is why it's better to wait to get all the sins. Then you summon Ammon by himself. You wouldn't be able to get all of these other ones, but it's just kind of appropriate right now that we're playing in the spawn of Satan and we have access to all the demons. That's the only reason I've allowed that to fly, plus we're kind of coming towards the end of the campaign. Anyway, if we'd have started the campaign with this, I'd have absolutely modded it so that it was back to or made it work with some of the other mods. Don't know what's causing the conflict, but something is. That's the important thing. So... If you want to play this mod, don't worry. It's not going to be nearly as broken. I'm being overly hard on the mod when it's other things in the mod pack actually contributing to it being broken. It is a very well-made mod, and it's quite fun. More importantly, my daughter is Perganat, and we're the father. Um, also, what's going on with the... What was I going to say? What's going on with the society? Yeah, we still... No, I, I remember. I stopped... Uh... I, I stopped baptizing these kids. They were killing one another, so I'm kind of hoping they won't join. Although, they might just end up joining anyway, because it's probably... Oh, there's no influence bar in the society. That was another thing that was broken. I'm not sure what's causing that, by the way. Don't think that's Satanism Plus. Okay. Um, we wanted to send the Chinese after the Aztecs. Can we do that? Have a gift, my man. What have we got for you? No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Send him an artifact instead. I'm sure we got, like, spare sword. We've got loads. Shit. Wallbreaker and Fate. Vision was ours. I remember that much. Um, take it. 5,000 grace for the Emperor. Likes Tengri's, dislikes Jane's. But whatever. Uh, sure. Whatever. You do you. Uh, some Fate Bar off to China. Who should we send off to China? I feel like we should send someone. Constus. Off you go, my friend. You are my official Chinese representative. Um, I'm not sending any of my daughters. God damn, what am I, an animal? Um, and I'll keep my commanders too, besides you. Andronikos, you know, another son to be my, my representative over there. And then we'll send the Chinese after the Aztecs. And we'll just sit in the middle, twiddling our thumbs, waiting for them to rip each other apart. I might help him out. Actually, no, I can't be bothered. No, nah, we'll leave them to it. I'm sure I'll be okay. The question is whether or not the Aztecs can spawn in the armies against China. Because if they can, then China's definitely going to get their ass handed to them. So request invasion. Can't. Why? They're not stay. Oh, they're in unrest. Bugger. Okay, fine. We'll give it a minute then. As if I just disbanded the army rather than the boats. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that was an exercise. <laughs> that was an exercise in just complete mediocrity, huh? Bring in the demon, Ken. 
Oh, well, what's this? Notices your horny warny. Oh, dear. That was like the worst. Any any body part would have been better than that besides maybe dick. Okay. Um, you rush down there. Deal with that. Where are the other rebellions, by the way? Oh, my God. If there's one in England now, I'll scream. Where are you? President Rob for Suha. As far as I know, there's not. Oh, there they are. Okay. They're both conveniently in the same place. Drop all the boats. Just drop them all simultaneously. We don't need any more boats. Thank you. Okay, I was going to say, to my knowledge, there isn't a place called Suhar in England, but there we go. Okay, send them south. Uh, do we want to get involved with the fields? Lose 200 prestige in exchange for 800 gold. Well, we do have 132,000 prestige, but we also do have 32,000 gold. 45,000 piety. Um, nah, work at your own pace. That's fine. This is so broken, isn't it? My God. Okay, um, what should we spend some money on? Oh, no, I forgot about the gold-plated horses arse we built in Mecca. We can't upgrade it. As much as I'd love to upgrade it, we can't because Keith cured, cured, cured our lunacy. You know, brought us back to Earth. Um, so we actually are just stuck with the gold-plated horses. Our mecha can't even turn it into a nice big statue or anything. Never mind. Um, we could build up our garden. Sure, let's build up our garden. In fact, we could probably build up everything with the massive amount of gold we got going on right now. Aqueducts, that's what we need. More health. Um... There we go. That's quite nice. Uh, and then we've finally got the second monastery we actually can't upgrade. Oh my god, we've actually almost got a fully upgraded set of wonders here. Mecha statue we can't do anything about. 10,000 gold left over. Um, surely we can build some... Yeah, we can build some bonuses in these, if nothing else. Poet opinion, drunkard opinion, local move speed, levy size. Um, I've been building the dynasty opinions in everywhere. So if we've got those, mainly because if we get a dynasty opinion in every one, that's like, what, we've got like 20 great wonders there? That's like plus 60 dynasty opinion. When you've got all of these kids, as many kids as we've got, and as many landed family members as we've got, that's a lot of, that's basically just guaranteeing around stability by itself there. Um, here, irrigation channels, whatever, take it. Sacred monster in Mount Sinai, I don't think we can actually, we can't actually build anything in that at all. Um, Khufu? Oh, we just can't afford it now. Oh, we're not a lunatic. Okay, we can't do that one either. Uh, Alexander is fully upgraded. This is ridiculous. My God. The Taki Bostan? Okay, restore that one then. Fine, that's, that's something to spend our money on. Why not? Oh, we also got the House of Wisdom. Right, that's actually insanely good. The bonuses you get from the House of Wisdom is nuts. We absolutely want to build that as soon as possible. Um, and then that's basically it. Hagia Sophia is, is still built and fully upgraded. Um, the Mausoleum D. Tadoricho, sure. Um, we can build something there. Dynasty opinion plus three. Again, I'm more than okay with that. Fuck it. We'll leave that there for the timing. We've got bigger fish to fry. Right, so you guys come and clap these cheeks and we'll send them over. The other guys are in position now, surely. Yes, okay. So let's just declare this holy war while we deal with those other rebellions as well. Um, no, 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 no. Not you, not you, not you. So we want to go for you. Declare war. We want to take... What was it again? I don't remember. Jabal. Definitely Jabal. There's Hamadam. Definitely Jabal. G, G, G. Okay. Send. You guys move in. Uh, we'll get Asmodeus on the center for that one, and we'll just leave him there. Um, we do need to summon the other guys. Well, we need to summon that other demon that we've missed out. Oh, God, this can take an hour. <gasps> Who is... Con is that my... My daughter has borne me the child of another man. Possess her. We will show you what we do with traitors. You shall be possessed. Do it. Take control of her. She will never betray us again. Oh, God, that's a bit weird. Taking away a free will for that. Mm, I don't know. That's a bit... It's not very cash money. Surrendering? This terms of your surrender? Pff, yeah. Oh, my God. I actually misclicked, so... Oh, shit. What did they take? Oh. Well, I'm not going to lose it. Sleeper. Oh, no. What a shame, huh? Oh, God. One of the titles my vassals conquested. They're going to be disappointed. Shit. Um, that was extreme. I, look, I've reinstalled my PC. I've got different DPI on my mouse, okay? So if I look a bit wobbly today, that's why, okay? That's all there is to it. Let's, um... Oh, that's it. I was going to say, let's go... No, Germanos died. Getting the trait drunkard. Keith would be proud. Okay, let's get you out of here. Thank you very much. And then we're going to do with these guys as well. How are we doing the war? Just see just going kind of catchy. I suppose with Asmodeus on this one. There we go. Right, she's never going to betray us again. With Asmodeus on the center, we can just immediately bash these ones out. This is actually ridiculous. Oh, my God. This is too much rebellion. Ugh, okay. Um, This is the problem with CK2 when you get to this stage, that you get rebellions just around the clock, basically. It's constant. Just constant rebellions. Uh, I mean, let's check our revolt risk map and then sort of see what we need to go and crush. Okay, let's get you down here as well, because this place is just a hive of scum and villainy at this point. Um... Right, so we'll, we'll keep those guys marching on those ones first. Go deal with those because those wars have been going on longer. What do you want? Join the British Papal War for Latium. Oh. Right. Okay, I appreciate that. I actually had no idea that was going on. Thank you, friend. Um, huh. Well, that's okay. I mean, that's a fun little other distraction to go with. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. 
This is not even... Oh, my... What are you talking about? So we're just going to be stuck doing this all fucking year then, huh? It's just going to be peasant revolt after peasant revolt after peasant revolt. Okay, fine. Just raise all troops. Just raise them all. Just raise every single troop simultaneously. You'll we'll fight the bloody British at the same time as well, which is going to be nice and fun. Um, wow, this is unreal. Right, so that's that, that's that one done. Get out of here. Right, okay. You quickly go and stop those. Those are the guys that are at, like, uh, minus 99%, by the way. Um... Yeah, this is just not... This is just not even fun. All right. Um, we're, we're fine. We'll be okay. It's just that we've got to balance this many bloody wars whilst also simultaneously trying to do our offensive wars at the same time. Is this it? Is this like their final chance to try and stop us? Is this like the war for the end times? Go for it. Just pile on. Not even gonna, Who needs commanders anyway? There we go. Right, okay. That didn't really help out at all. That's actually affected very little war score. Are they started sieging Latium? No, but we did lose some troops there. Bloody hell. All right. Whatever. Um... Okay, so get, let's deal with this one next. 69% war score. That's exactly why you... That's exactly why he's friendly. Thank you very much. Okay, all right, there we go. Okay, that's that one dealt with. That's our major goal done. Uh, is currently every conquest for the Iberian Pinion... Is that against us? It's got to be, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. It could be against the... Oh, is that what they're going for? What the fuck? So they're going against... Wait, what? So they're reconquesting specifically that province? Or not? I don't know. It doesn't really matter too much anyway. It's, it's not really relevant towards the, uh, the end goals of the campaign here. Okay, so now all we've got to do is fight the entire British Empire and all of their Catholic friends, which, uh, spoilers, there's a lot of them. We've got to get our troops back into a, a suitable position. We've got to crush about six rebellions simultaneously and also fight the Pope, who's apparently sent an... Oh, well, of course, the Pope's probably part of the paper war for, for Latium again. God damn, okay, right. So let's get us on this army and get all of the troops on the center then. Okay, and then we'll move you down to go and crush the papal troops and then we'll also use this as an excuse to take out some of these guys. I'm going to leave just a standing army down here because this place is just constantly kicking off. Okay, another one down. Uh, not Concubine. I'm talking about talking about war here. Okay, there we go. And then these guys should take about two seconds to deal with. Then we'll go and crush the UK. Okay, that one's done as well. What are we looking at here? Uh, so, British Paper War for Latium against uh, Hay Kining Wiglaf. That just means High King. Wiglaf of Britannia. Okay, let's drop these guys down. And then we need some more troops. We need to send some troops over to Latium as soon as possible then. So let's get... Uh, let's get our fleets going to Alexandria. They are already. Let's just raise some vassal. I mean, that's, that alone is good enough as long as we keep our guy in the center. Imprison her. Let's sacrifice her off. Even though she's one of our concubines. We've got replacement concubines, right? Sacrifice her to summon Abaddon, I think it was. Which one are we missing here? Let me just double check. So Adramelech, uh, Asmodeus, Mammon, Belphegor, Ammon, Beelzebub... Leviathan, uh, and Keith, obviously, right, so we are missing Abaddon, so go for that one, thank you very much, you serve me now, boom, there we go, okay, back up to 80 Marshall, that's what we really need to keep these walls together, boom, look at that, there we go, 80 Marshall on the center, with the power of Keith, you do not stand a goddamn chance, okay, Latium saved, so what's next then, wasted ducats anyway, thank you very much, let's quickly assault these down, um, he is a heretic, absolutely, I've seen it with my own eyes, who is he, I don't know who we're talking about, uh, 30%. So we might actually have enough battle war score in our about this time, having defeated the papal armies. Obviously, the, the 30,000 whatever men Britain dropped off in our capital. This alone might be enough, just with the counter sieging. Um, try and reinforce that. I should have really waited, because I don't know if we'll get the battle war score for that. We did, luckily. Okay, uh, and then we'll take whatever else they've got, but that actually might be it. And 100%. Thank you very much. Okay, back to business, except for we <laughs> got another bloody peasant revolt, because of course we do. Um, should I just let them have it? I'm not even sure I could be bothered to move. Okay, go on then. Run run as fast as your little legs will carry you. So that should be the end of Judaism. Very nice. Uh, or not, if the YouTube sponsors are listening. Uh, right, so let's get all of this stuff together. There we go. Okay, so that's a bunch more corruption going on as well. Again, I don't know if they do immediately convert. I don't know if that makes any difference. But we might as well do it until the option disappears. Huh? Um, how are we doing the proselytization as well? Because I've been very careful to try and proselytize some of these more rebellious provinces down here. Oh, there we go. Shit, we're almost done with it. And what's the religion map mode looking right, right now? Oh, we'll bring our poison. Sorry. Uh, time to do the Lord's work. There we go. And blessings of Bulworth again. Very nice. Guidance of Keith has uncorrupted us. Wow, look at that. My God. It really is just like... I mean, I imagine we're not even close to catching Catholicism yet. So we might actually end up just remaining a heresy. But to be honest, we've done such a good job here. I can't really complain. 66.1 moral authority. So close. 227 versus 653. But I don't think we're ever not going to be a heresy. But I think that's kind of appropriate, you know. We were never looking to supersede Catholicism with like an organized religion or anything like that. Just dished out all of that land that we got in the Holy War without even thinking about it. I was just like, okay, we'll land any kids in our court 
that are obviously ours, um, ended up dishing it out to our concubines. So that's a, that was a bit of a mistake right there. But this means another fucking button I can press. Get out of here. Though the followers were spread far and wide, the dream of building the third temple was always a goal for many ambitious Jewish rulers. However, with the acquisition and desecration of the Holy Land and other key sites at the hand of the Satanic Empire, the dreams of the Jewish diaspora are looking more and more distant. More distant than they've ever been before. Stop. Look, brain, we need you to stop rewriting things here. Chance of unity are gone, and that means that there is only orthodox. However, I say only orthodox with a grain of salt because... No, not that I'm ever salty. Because Alexander is under control of the bloody fucking Aztecs. And if we go to war with the Aztecs, they're at war with everyone else. Hang on. Uh, sorry, he's at war with Basilius Raphael the Cuckold. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to go for it. I think we're just going to... Let's, let's unify our armies to start off with. Get everybody back to the capital. We'll get our troops sort of standing ready on their capital, ready to pounce. And we'll, we'll just have to... I mean, there's nothing else we can really do at this stage besides embrace it. So, um, let's get you guys into position. I swear to God, if we get any more peasant revolts, I'm gonna scream. Get out of here. I thought that was one then for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna hire, um... Uh, I guess we could just raise up our mercenary bands. We might have access to... Who died? Bag of meat. Why did that bag of meat scream like a baby? Is there something you want to tell me? Um, right, so let's send... Half of our army. So let's get... Uh, I want to raise some boats. But I won't raise that many. Okay, that'll do. Uh, to send these guys... Put them on the boats. Oh, there's not enough boats now. Shit. All right, bear with me a minute. It's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to try and balance these. Right, so ship you guys off to Spain. Go to the Aztec capital. Get in position ready to pounce. Then we'll have, uh, we'll have these guys ready in Alexandria just to declare war. So we'll wait for those other troops to get there. That, I'm hoping, will be enough. Because they're already at war with everyone else as well. There's one 100,000, but there's other 100,000. We'll probably get swallowed up in the other many, many wars we've got going on right now. We'll have Asmodeus on the assault force because the other army is pretty well balanced. Uh, let's get them. And plus, this guy means we could just turn up, smash, and grab, right? Oh, that's too fast. Hang on. Turn the speed down a little bit, right? It's fucking shit, that's quick. Go back. Get back on the boats. Excuse me. Right, okay. Ready? Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Okay. We're in position. We're primed and ready to go. Declare war. So we've got troops where we want them in, in our capital. We've got troops going in for their land. That may lose for help us. They're dropping in however many troops. Another 100,000 men. Because of course they are. As far as I'm concerned, that's just more war score for us. Okay. Off we get. Someone's already sieged it. Oh, you fuckers. It's the Basilius. Okay, what a shocker. All right. Let's go for the war goal then. Have they got 4,400 people in their temple? Wow. That's actually genuinely quite impressive. We've got a load of boats raised as well. Actually, I'm just going to drop those other boats that are over by Spain. Because to be honest, that army's probably not coming back with 100,000. Very an angry Aztecs coming our way. All right, then. Um, I'm going to salt this down. Probably not recommended, but I'm going to do it in the interests of extremely hig hig speeds. Do it for Sonic. Okay, uh, there you go. Blitz that down. Perfect. There we go. 10% more score. We control the war goal. These guys I'm going to siege all the way up to the Aztec capital. These guys are just going to siege just about everything else we can, of course, with the Modius on the center. Just bit my fucking tongue. Ow. Damn Aztecs. <laughs> me um even with 100,000 Aztecs kicking around Asmodeus on the center I mean I was gonna say they're unbeatable but really they're not are they he's only got 78 martial I say only 78 martial but in this that's probably not gonna be enough I'm still gonna go for it because obviously I am um wow those guys held out longer than I thought right chase them down this is good battle war score right here split your armies up like this this is fucking great news um should we hunt those guys down or should we go for these 45,000 that seems like I'm biting off way more than I can chew and I'm just talking about my tongue um go for it Oh, there we go. That worked out really well. Keep chasing them. Keep chasing them. I don't know where the hell you want me to get Siege War score from, seeing as their capital's gone. Maybe their armies will counter Siege. That would be great if some of these armies that we've sworn in on their behalf will like, go and take back their capital. Right, there we go. Great War score starting there. 39% already is quite nice. You picked up a special tithe. Where did you get that from? Fort Knox. $3,000 reduced. Just like that. Very nice. I really, sometimes the scaled wealth in CK2 honestly blows me away. Doesn't really help given the amount of ridiculous mods we've got going on, but hey. Um, that's... Why are we not getting much battle war score for this? We've killed hundreds of thousands of men. Come on. I'd like to point out we've got the same amount of war score burning down a few tents in the middle of, uh, in the middle of wherever the hell this is than we did for killing almost 100,000 troops. That is unreal. That's absolutely ridiculous. He'll be missed. Don't, don't talk to me. Don't send me a letter as if we're good pals. You're not getting out of this one. You've had that temple for way too long. 67%. Okay. Right. Uh, we can also make some titles as well, which I'm looking forward to doing because our vassal map mode is a mess. Why the hell was I allowed to create the Duchy of Blois? Um, here. It's yours now. Take it. You know what? You, you take it. Thank you. 
Um, what is it? What are we looking for? There you go. You can enjoy that one, my little thimble. And then this one should just be kind of safe to siege down. Again, I'm just going to go for as much lands around the capital as possible. I'm kind of hoping they will surrender. Bearing in mind, we've got 81% war score against them, and they're in about 12 other bloody wars right now. So, sorry. Your current necromancer has decided to take the hallowing path of liches. It will become impervious to the effects of time and command great power with the undead and spirits of the other realm. When his power becomes great enough, you may amass enough piety. You may be able to summon a large enough army of the dead. Um, I'm, well, I was thinking about amassing piety, but 50,000 already seems like enough. Um, all right then. Does that mean I can summon an army of the dead? What are we talking about here? Where, 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 where are they at, though? Uh. What are we... <laughs> Um, okay, that's fine. Didn't want an army of death anyway. That's, did, did we gain some troops here when I wasn't paying attention? I don't know. Special special units, what have we got? Horse archers. Well, I very much doubt they've turned up on horses. Heavy cavalry. Did they just turn up as light infantry, maybe? I didn't even notice. Well, okay, well, maybe we did. Oh, no, this will be it. Nice, okay. Um, oh, 30,000 men regiment arrives in Alexandria. As at your request, the lich in your employ has been tasked with making preparations for raising an army of the undead. Using the gold you have provided is quite all the necessary equipment for the ritual. The ceremony lasts all night, allowing you to witness some of the strangest, most unnatural occurrences, things you never thought possible, rich coming from this guy. The dead climb it from beneath the earth, all of them Aztecs, some with rotten flesh still attached, others only stripped to the bone. By the end of it, tens of thousands of Hallow One stands before you and your lich in servitude. Cool. Um... They spawn it in the capital, though. Are they special units? They are just like infantry. Don't get me wrong. As Modi is at the, at the head of a, an undead horde like that, it's still extremely powerful. Speaking of which, there's some troops to test out on. They seriously walk all the way via Greece. That's a real shame, given that they've, they've made all that distance for no reason. They don't despawn or anything. They're just a permanent, like, standing army. Well, they're non-reinforcing, I would assume, though. So they're just like a... Uh, okay, fair enough. I was going to say I like a retinue, but if they're not reinforcing, then clearly they're not. Oh. And finally... Let me just savor this moment, because it's been a long time coming. Orthodox Church destroyed. Diminished by the conversion of the Byzantine Empire to Catholicism, the Orthodox Church has suffered greatly due to the actions of me. Now with the Black Hands, total control of the five Pentarchs, any chance of rebuilding the traditional Byzantine Church is entirely gone. Ah. Oh. 146,000 prestige, 50,000 piety, 14,000 gold. Ladies and gentlemen, Black Hand as Modius the Griffin. It took us approximately... 370 years. Maybe one of our longest campaigns ever in CK2. Definitely one of the latest end dates I think we've had ever as well. We've conquested realms from... I mean, we've, this is the ugliest empire we've ever built in the whole history of the game, huh? We've mostly stayed around Egypt uh, again, but we've done that quite a lot recently. Um... But, I mean, starting from that tiny, tiny little duke, if we can go all the way back, if I can somehow maneuver through this bloody family tree, trying to remember how we're doing now. Erinez, Colossus, Minotaur, there she was. She was one of our best, absolutely, incredibly. Like, obviously, the, the, one of the most Catholic characters we could ever have ended up being, she was Waldensian. Oh, I remember, because, of course, she was possessed. She thought she was possessed by Jesus and ended up doing the most pious things possible, only for this to happen. She really set things up there. Gregorus, the money pincher, I remember him well. We had Tarabdis, and then, of course, before him, Christophorus, our first ever character there. Oh, and of course Cyclops. How could I forget Cyclops as well? The Cyclops are mystic there, married into the Basilius' family. Really elevated us to stardom. All started with Christophorus, branded apostate, and look at where we've ended up. Incredible. 300 and however many years of hard work and hard conquering to end up with this. An absolute mess of a fucking empire. Religious map mode is looking absolutely incredible, though. Look at that. Taoist. We've got Satanic. Sunny has been reduced all the way down. We've got Yaz y Yazidi, which is all because of all the moral authorities being eroded away. Catholicism has remained strong, but we've put up a hell of a fight there. And honestly, I think it's kind of appropriate we would end this on a heresy. But the authority of the Abrahamic adherents has been lowered to the extent chaos reigns. Embrace the new world. And absolutely we will. Having brought chaos and destruction to the realms of the children of Abraham, Black Handers Modius achieved his dynasty's seemingly unbelievable goal of vengeance against God himself. The realms burn, preachers and doomsayers cry havoc and call this the end times. In truth, as Modius sleeps soundly in his fortified citadel, the cries of the damned a lullaby, drifting him soundly into the greatest sleep he can remember. Good night, Asmodius. Good night, Keith. My... <laughs> oh, but what is this? Slamming comes from the door of your bedchamber. What, what could it be? Beauty, you, you jump out of bed and prepare a curse of unprecedented power. Surely whoever stood on the other side of the door would regret waking you at such an hour. A servant, a relative indulging in too much wine? You hear a voice. My lady. My lady, I found the beast. Lady Brandamina. 
Who's here? The voices are from a foreign land, and they're not the fools you thought. Things also seem a lot warmer than usual. Much, much warmer. Hung. <laughs> Some weird capitalization going on there. Just ignore it. A flaming spear sticks out of your chest. 